In this video, I will be going over the process of requesting your classes for the next school year. So now I am logged in as a student. To get to the course request page, you need to select my day up at the top of the page. Then select course requests. The rules and requirements for requesting courses are in a drop down menu. Most notably, it is a good idea to meet with a counselor. They are able to talk about courses and answer any questions you may have. The links provided are their calendars for available times to sign up for meetings. There are three different paths here at Faith. The paths are fully online, hybrid, and fully on campus. If you are a fully online student, all of your classes requested need to be Faith Lutheran online classes. If you are a hybrid student, at least three of your eight classes requested need to be Faith Lutheran online classes. Now, if we scroll down, for example, it is required that all students take a theology credit per year. For this person, it shows Faith 4 is available as a class. So I can select Request, and now, under first semester and second semester on the right, I can see the requested course. Another graduation requirement for a senior is a government credit. When I select the drop down menu for social science, I see three possible options for this student. I am going to request regular government econ. Once again, you can see it show up on the right side of the page. Each year of high school, it is required that students take an English class. Let's say this year I want to take British literature. I can select it and now it is part of my requested schedule. Math is also required every year, so I can request pre-calc. I can also go under the science tab and request marine and desert biology. If I am an athlete, I can go under the electives physical education tab and select athletic performance. Now I have six on-campus classes requested. This would be the minimum requirement for a fully on-campus senior student. Now there are four blocks per day here at Faith. If you would like to have a late arrival or early dismissal, you need to request that specific module to guarantee you get that free block. So I can go under electives general and select early dismissal one and early dismissal two if I want the fourth block to be my free block for both days. Now I have eight blocks filled. However, if I am someone who maybe has not taken computer science, which would fulfill a digital graduation requirement, I can go under the Faith Lutheran Online tab and I can see these courses are offered online through Faith Lutheran Online. Each class under this tab is labeled with the A flow and the B flow. A flow represents the first semester of that course and B flow represents the second semester of that course. I want to take computer science principles next year during the school year. So I don't need to request both semesters. If I just select computer science principles A flow, which is going to start me in the first semester of that class, then it will automatically during the second semester of next year, I will be enrolled in the computer science principles B flow. So now I can scroll up to the right and select the term I want to start this course in. It is also an option to do the semester during the summer. So when I select first semester, I can now change the view to see my first semester classes. And there I can see my on campus classes along with computer science principles A flow. And then even though it is not selected, you will automatically be enrolled for the second semester of that class in the following semester. Now, if I wanted to, I could select summer semester for computer science principles A flow. 
and then scroll back down and select Computer Science Principles B Flow. I would then mark that course as first semester. So by Christmas, you can be done with your online classwork. Make sure as you are doing this process, you are selecting the little red save button at the bottom of your screen. If you do not click this button, your request will not be saved. And then the counselors will have to choose your classes for you. You definitely do not want this to happen. Lastly, if you are confused about anything during this process, it is once again important that you are reaching out to a counselor or even Mr. Baikama. He will be able to answer questions you may have as well. This will ensure that you are requesting the courses you want to take and need to take according to the path you are on.